Dane G. What's happening, buddy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're here to talk about the new project that uh, I worked on with you and the G Bros, the G Skate. Yeah. And uh, I mean, a year ago, you sent me a text, which was a picture of a skateboard, an old Dogtown skateboard. And you're like, I want to make a board like this. <laughs> and I, I didn't really know what that meant. Like, what were you looking for? Why did you have a skateboard in mind? What, what were you chasing? Well, it was hilarious because I was looking through this old book of skateboards and their outlines. And I just love the photos of the guys really just upright on it, the way that the profile looked when they were riding it. And I just felt like it could really apply well to surfing. And I was like, I had this idea and I sent you that photo and I was like, can we make something like this? Yeah. And then as it grew over time from the original outline that we sent through, it became more functional for surfing, how it fits in the wave. And especially with my brothers and our different approaches, kind of like how we could kind of find a universal shape out of that original template of the skateboard that gives you that free flowing speed approach, but you could turn it hard and take it to wherever they wanted to go to. Right. So it was like beyond my original like thought. And then it grew into something just really cool and interesting. I, we, we might've started out a little overly literal. Like yeah. you actually blew up the photo of the skateboard, which I still have it. <laughs> right, this no, I it. took this to Kinko's actually. Yeah, yeah. And had them printed out to scale, five eight. So we actually, five, six, like, I don't know. know if you guys can see, but we actually took measurements of the outline and like truly copied the outline. And that's how the board started. And it was pretty bad. It was, there was just a lot of surface area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we really wanted to refine it, but still keep that, that, that outline, that beautiful look of a bit of a round nose, bit of a just, and just the way that the Z boys and the Dogtown crew was just getting aggressive out of the pools and just, mm. I just really love their approach. Right. And the way that the wave has that similar contour, it, I just wanted to see what that would feel like. Right. And then, you know, obviously through all the iterations, you know, adding that little bit of a wing refinement to the tail block, I'll let you step on the back foot and really kick it and maneuver it. Yeah. You know, a lot more than that huge wide surface area that we started with here. So think, it became I, more relevant. For that's kind of what had to change, I think, was the tail. Yeah. You know, like a skateboard has a kick tail. Yes. You know, and the trucks are actually narrower than like kind of some of those old wide boards. So I think when high performance was translating into the water, the main thing we had to do is narrow that tail so mm -hmm. that you guys could like draw those tight lines in the pocket, right? Yeah, exactly. So we came up with this pulled in swallowtail with this little bump, which allows even like a straighter rail line here, but then even more pulled in. I think the bump was, is a really cool sort of addition to really bring that tail tight, but have all the surface area up here. That maintains like that skate feel yes. flow, but then as soon as you want to hook it in the pocket, or like bury the tail, that the narrowness after the wing seems like it allows you to do that. And I feel like the outline really plays well to like that universal access to speed, whether you're on the front foot or you're driving off the back foot, because of the way the fin templates with the two plus one, if you're on the back foot, you can really drive and get that skate flow. But I'm more front footed, I love getting up forward on the board. And with this kind of wide area, a lot of the surface area, I just feel like it fits so natural in the curve of the wave. Mm. And so I really resonated with the whole thing. And then when you want to do the dirty work and step back here and blast yeah, something, you just, just <laughs> step back and hammer it, Yeah, you know? Yeah, sick. So the board's got a super flat rocker, right? Speed was key yeah. for this. We all know like, if you're going fast, you're having fun, period. That's and, it. And especially <laughs> like in lesser waves where you might ride something like this. So it's got a, just a really flat, simple rocker curve, single concave all the way through here, a little bit out of V behind the back fin. Um, very basic, very clean in the water, but fast and loose. And then uh, we messed around with fin setups quite a bit. Tell me like what your thought process is and where we landed with fins. Yeah, well, it's super interesting with the fins because we're even playing around with, um, you know, starting out with the twin setup or maybe even going to a thruster, but we landed somewhere in between with the twin trailer combo. Yeah. We just felt like it offered the most access to performance when speed and getting up to a planing speed and flying down the line, but also having a bit of more trust in your turns. Yeah and being able to commit to those heavy sections, especially on a wide range of waves, you know, talking from small waves at Huntington Beach, all the way to Hawaii, which we were just over there for the North Shore season. Mm -hmm. So it does have a wide variety. The way that we did put the fins is very similar to the rocket wide measurements. So it does have that like mixed access to like 
thruster setup if you feel comfortable with the thruster, but we really prefer it with the two plus ones. That's where we found the, the most success with the board. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, I back it, <laughs> <laughs> obviously. But one thing I was gonna say too, was with our mindset and all the stuff that like I bring in those ideas, I was like super excited. We really love giving people the tools to find you know, ease of access to speed, getting up to speed early and quick, paddling in easy, and then having to control that speed. Like, how do you control it? I feel like right now, that's something that just, we've always felt passionate about. Right. So this board really encapsulate those ethos and kind of could hopefully bring it to a lot of people who are looking to experience the same things, which yeah. I think is a universal service feeling. You wanna go fast and turn hard, you yeah. know? What do you think about like ease or difficulty of riding this board? Is it, is it for beginners, experts, in between, everyone? What do you think? Ideally, it's accessible enough for people who are looking to get out there in marginal conditions. Yeah. But I think, too, at the expert top level, you can see guys go well above the lip. You can do heavy, crazy moves with it and turn really hard. But I think it's still going to give you the access to speed no matter who you are mm. in those marginal conditions, no matter where you are. I mean, we know that a lot of the times you go surf, you just want a motivation to get out of the car, yeah. into your wet wetsuit and go into the water. Right. And so like, you need a board that's easy to get those emotions flowing. Yeah. And so hopefully this is the right ingredient to start cooking with. So Yeah, I think that's what's rad about this board is it's so easy to ride. Yeah. You know, I've been riding it and it's just, if I want to like, try to surf well, I can. If I just want to cruise, if I just kind of want to stand there and get speed, like it does whatever I want it to do without too much effort or too much fuss about it. And it is that motivational board. Yeah. It's like that new fresh feeling where you're like, okay, I'll go out today, where maybe I wasn't psyched to go out, <laughs> yeah. but with this board, you're like psyched to go out. Yeah. You know, you guys, I'm so grateful that you guys were able to interpret what <laughs> was my original <laughs> vision and then obviously with the input from my brothers too yeah. and all of their experience on the world tour and surfing really high performance it's been all put into here and you guys were able to sew it together and make something that's absolutely a universal board you know from yeah. my approach which is a little more subtle a little more down the line the boys love getting vertical doing big blasts so you know i think anyone should be able to find something that they love out of this board so you guys were able to kind of it together so i'm grateful for, for well, you guys uh, well we're grateful for you it was fun i mean it was fun actually having all you and i were in the room a lot yeah we did a lot of iterations of this but there was also times where we had all three bros in yeah. the room and me which is and a lot there was a lot of stuff <laughs> there was a lot I of know. stuff a lot of good vibes but like so many ideas so many ideas so it's pretty rad to take you three guys with all your surfing history and heritage and ability and to um with you guys get to translate it into a fun design I feel privileged and stoked, so thanks. Yeah. Awesome, well, thank you guys. Let's go. You See you in the water.